G'day guys, welcome to Panzer Strategy. This game was released on Steam today. I didn't even know it was going to be released. I know nothing about this game, but it looks okay. And I'm really bored. So let's have a look at this and see if it's any good. Now, this is basically, you load the game and this is what you see. They don't even have the game's name or anything here. I mean, the pen, the tiger's cool, but yeah, it's very simple. Anyway, we're just going to get into a new game. There's no tutorials, there's no nothing. We're just going to jump in and see what this game's all about. From the initial Wehrmacht operations in okay, now the voiceover is really annoying, and I don't know where he's from in the world, but it's not the best voiceover. So we can play as Manstein, Rommel, or Guderian. And we're just going to go with Rommel, and we're not going to listen to this guy. We're just going to play on normal, and there is a tutorial. Like the voiceover is really annoying. Germany embarked on a path of grandiose changes. That's a better voiceover. After the humiliations they have suffered from their defeat in the Great War, the patience of the Germans was exhausted. The German nation rallied around their new leader. Hitler made it clear to the whole world that he was determined to solve all territorial and economic problems caused by the Treaty of Versailles. Because of this treaty, Germany has lost all its colonies. Part of the original German territory and was obliged to pay huge reparations for the next 80 years. Attempts to resolve it peacefully were met with a strict refusal and military intervention from France. In order to defend its independence, Germany had to start a war. Oh no, Hitler's gonna talk. General Franco has raised an uprising. That's not the Hitler, oh my god. In Spain. <laughs> I believe it is necessary to help him. This operation will no. not only strengthen the economy. It's like the most right, American voice you could also ever hear. An opportunity to test new types of weapons. A quick oh, victory will God. certainly strengthen our position in the global political scene, but this is not our main goal. Unfortunately, have the international situation a German dude. does not allow us to intervene openly. Therefore, volunteering corps okay, will can we skip? We need to Spain. skip. We know what's going on. So, oh, come on. Can you stop talking for two seconds? I can't even press escape to pause this. P to pause. No. Let's begin by capturing it. Select an infantry oh, unit by clicking okay. on it with a left mouse button. Then you can issue commands to the unit. All right. He stopped. Okay, that was terrible. You should have just got a German person to do Hitler's voice to start with. Number two, um, this is before World War II kicked off. This is the Spanish Civil War where Germany sent troops to help. Um, basically, to get some, they sent their guys over to get some experience and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it looks cool. This game is made in Unreal Engine 4. The animations, I mean, that was never... It doesn't have to be the best. It's not important. But this looks okay. I'm interested to see how this is all going to go, but it's got some promise. It'd be nice if you can like pause things as well, but we'll make it work. Anyway, we need to select an infantry unit, click on the left mouse button, and issue the command. Attack the airfield guards. In most cases, units are able to attack one time per turn. Okay, so we can attack once a turn. I was just waiting for the footprint noises to disappear when we hadn't even moved. Why are we making footprint noise? Okay. All right, Um. so we can attack. No, it's the wrong button. This. Move the unit towards the hexagon with the flag. Only land units can capture objects. Why is move left mouse button, not right mouse button? The airfield is ours. Perfect. The Luftwaffe will immediately transfer additional air forces to this airfield. In okay. order to transfer non-infantry oh. troops, it is necessary to capture the railroad station. Use the attack aircraft to blast away the enemy force from the station and then occupy it with infantry. Choose a tactical bomber. They did one thing right. WSD controls the screen. Thank God for that. Choose a tactical bomber, J87. Bomb the enemy by clicking on it. With the left mouse button. What are we bombing? Aircraft can attack ground targets located in the same hexagon as them. Is 
that a tank? Like, I mean, is there a tank there or is it they just think there's a tank there? So, go. Following the attack on the ground target, the bomber can move one hexagon and give others the opportunity to attack. Move the plane aside. Choose another bomber. How do I unselect this unit? No. The block? Okay. I want to unselect the unit. I don't want to select another unit. Okay, can't do it apparently. You can attack as well. Alright, so tanks are see through and not modeled, or we couldn't see them. In most cases, troops are only able to move once per turn. Infantry can move. Capture the station. It is necessary for the transfer of heavy units and rail shipment of logistical supplies. Excellent. Now, our heavy units could be relocated in here. Now we need artillery support. It is necessary to capture the primary supply depot to ensure the successful resupply of our troops. From oh. there, logistical supplies can be sent to all other supply depots. Initially, fill it with artillery and then attack with the infantry. Choose an artillery unit. Shell okay. your enemy. Artillery I'm is curious why a tank doesn't look like a tank. Such as infantry. I mean... Select an infantry unit. Finish off your weakened enemy. Artillery can move one hexagon per turn. While in transit mode, it can move much further. However, when in transit mode, towed artillery is very vulnerable and it cannot engage the enemy. This time, I guess we have to listen have to, to all this. Chances. The time is almost up. Capture the supply depot with artillery, the last unit, which can still move during this turn. Choose an artillery unit. Capture the supply. Okay. Excellent. The bridgehead have been seized. Press the end turn button to proceed to the next phase of the operation. Press end turn button. Hey, now we've got a little HUD. Uh, end turn. What the hell's the end turn button? Oh, there. General staff to the commander of the Oh, okay. So they modeled these panzers in. I guess maybe because it was a demo. To launch a general offensive against Madrid, in cooperation with the troops of General Franco, your task. Is to ensure the Anything World War II is just fun to play. Proceed, you need to establish control over the following key strategic points. Las Ventas. To ensure further advance, take over the Republic's Ventas, supply yeah. depot. Brunet. Taking this important transport junction will allow you to possess a useful airfield close to Madrid. Right. In Madrid, oh, God. Capture the city's airport. The railroad station. And this is going to take a while. Depot of the Republican Army. Faithful to Franco, the garrison of Toledo keeps control of the city with defiance. Rescue the city defenders before the Republicans destroy them. The Republican Army has not yet recovered from its defeat. The current situation is favorable for your offensive. But there is no time to hesitate. Oh, we've got German before troops everywhere breaking through. Up its reserves, Madrid must be captured. Weapon specialist this is adorable. will help you master the experimental machinery that came from the noble military doctrine of Wehrmacht. We have faith in you and expect a rapid victory. General Stabscher, oh, God. Des Harris, General Lieutenant Ludwig August Theodor Beck. It takes a long time for them to say anything. Seize all five victory hexes and try and save the garrison in whatever this was which is going to take us a while to get there but it's doable all right are these we've got 109s stukas infantry in the north here this is an enemy unit oh if the intelligent level allows it you okay can so comprehensive information about it by right clicking on the mouse right clicking button. regular infantry nothing special Oh, they've, we need to, yeah, they need to explain all this. So you've got ground defense values, air defense values, all that. Alright, so let's hit him with Artie. 
there. And then that took their strength down to five. And push with infantry. Why did they shoot first? Oh, shit. The canister icon will be green. If it moves, the icon will be grey. Similarly, the cut oh, icon okay. shows if the unit has made an attack. Shut up, voiceovers. We move, but can we attack? The ammo, yes, the unit destroyed. Easy. Awesome. So they're clear to advance in the north. In center of the map. Your army is comprised of the core and auxiliary forces. You can distinguish we... the two by the color of the figures denoting the strength of the unit. A core unit is indicated mm. by green color. An auxiliary unit is indicated by yellow. The auxiliary so these are core units. Let's just go. The core forces will accompany you through the campaign. Let's advance. Battle. We have this 37 flak. These units are the ones that should be primarily protected. Flak gun can move forward. I don't... I think we'll keep a flak gun in reserve. Able to seek out the enemy from afar. And, and this is Raycon. You can give the reconnaissance unit the order to advance more than once per turn, as long as you still have movement points. Let's go. Once the reconnaissance sees the enemy, it automatically stops, and then it can move towards any direction. And just advance their scout car. Extremely important in an oh, they found somebody, did they? Provides a full awareness about the presence no, they didn't. Of the enemy unit, thus Keep advancing. The more effective. Uh, oh, there's a tank unit. Okay, so just stay there. It's an unknown unit, so it could not be a tank. How are we gonna Stuka? Bombers are flying artillery and clear the way for our tanks. They can provide this is bomber. support. See what happens. Do I don't know if bombers without protection. Remember, they are prime target for enemy fighter planes. Okay, they're a prime target for enemy fighters, but let's bomb them. I mean, I've got a 109. Planes are needed for gaining air superiority, as well as for protecting ground forces and bomber aircraft. What do I do if with it? Fighter planes close to the units that you want to protect. Enemy aircraft will return fire as soon as they are attacked. Air weaponry also allows fighters to attack ground targets, although with a low efficiency. Okay, so keep it near our Ju87 to protect it. All right. Then infantry have advanced. They can't infantry advance anymore. The success achieved by the rest of the forces. Use infantry units no to more tanks, infantry. assault and defend cities, as well as for special missions in mountainous and wooded terrain. This is the only okay. type of troop in that can fire its weapons. When center it of the map. We've got a scout car. Let's advance with him. Oh, we detected some enemies already. Let's get out of the way of the tanks. Oh, they're just infantry. What are they? They don't need to appear as tanks, Jesus. Bring up the Panzer. We need to... Oh my god, it's so loud. Shut up. Let's bomb the... Anti-tank? Why are you giving me a... Half the time it shows me that, the other half the time it doesn't show me that. I'm not sure why. Alright, what's this? Ju 87A, let's bomb the uh, anti tank gun again. Okay, that's dead. Nice job. Pull back the 87, bring up the 109 to support them. I don't need to see that. Okay, and then we can do an advance with our panzers. Can I, or is he? He's at the limit of his advance. He can move one tile. This guy can move five tiles. Oh, you only get to select where they move once. You don't get a second choice. Why? You've still got two movement out of six left. As an that officer, you must lead your troops from the forefront. Could be a bug. Despite its low firepower, your headquarters is an extremely valuable unit on the battlefield. What is this? It is an effective command and control of troops that predeterminates the outcome of the entire battle. As you pick up new administrative skills, you um, will be able to provide significant benefits to your unit. Why can this? Headquarters action zone. If the headquarters is lost, I think because they're all in. They're in a transport. They're an infantry unit, but they're in a vehicle. 
And this is an infantry unit in a vehicle. Troops crossing water barriers are very vulnerable. You can either make sure there is no enemy nearby before they do. Bring my artillery up. For them during crossing. While in their water obstacle, uh, all we can put my artillery. Infantry boost their fighting ability. There. Okay, well, that kind of works. We'll work it out as we go. I don't really know what else I can do. We'll just um, do an enter. AI planning. They attack to transport. They got a little scout car of some sort. It's going to attack a pen. Okay. That was it. That was their counter attack. So this will be easy. We have panzers to attack the scout car. How did you do nine? What is this thing? This panel displays information about the enemy. Oh, can you stop repeating? You need to shut up, dude. It's got a huge heart attack. It's got a... Oh my god. Oh, shut up. Can't deal with this voiceover. Okay. Shut up! I know it's a tutorial. All right, so it's got all this stuff you can work out as you go as well. You don't need all this. It's got huge ground defense, and its heart attack is through the roof. Well, it's not. It's got plus seven on a base value. It's got a buddy BT-7 turret on the back of it, it looks like, like a 37 mil turret. That's why that thing hurt. So let's use Stukas. Okay, that's good. And then the infantry, it's going to move a pansy unit up. Let's check the infantry stats first. So heart attack one. And then I'm sure there's probably a value system in here that that anti-tank vehicle we attacked had plus seven attack. And then our base defense is six. So there's probably like an armor value in here as well somewhere. But we should be able to wipe infantry very quickly. They do one damage, I did two. Wow, I really thought we'd do better than that. Where'd my artillery end up? Where did my artillery end up? I know I had some. Do I still have some? Artillery is the basis of the firepower of the troops. Mm. It can pave the way I guess it died. Forces, the enemy's attack to artillery anyway, back to the south. Let's focus on this first. Long firing range of artillery, uh, which can inflict damage on enemy units beyond the limit of firing range. Use artillery barrage for assaulting enemy fortified positions. Why? Vulnerable to ground and aerial attacks, so it needs to be protected. Okay, so that worked. Uh, next, we need to... I don't know why this these guys have such a huge movement range. Something to do with the logistics. And I need to bring my scout car up. Let's bring my scout car up to the front. Okay, one more forward. Bring the panzers up. The panzer can't move. These infantry can move. Bring up my other scout car. I think this is... Don't need to see it. Oh, this is a, like a general's one or something. It's a slightly different scout car. Oh wait, have you got like a 20 mil? Ah, the camera. Okay, you've got a cannon. Well, you've just got an MG. These have got the 20 mil cannon. Interesting. It's kind of fun. Like all World War II sh stuff is cool, but we can live without the voiceover. Right. I think we're done in this sector for now. In the center, just keep advancing with our infantry. Infantry units can easily hide themselves from attacks and shelling in urban, wooded, and mountainous areas. Destroying enemy armor is much easier here than in the open field. Alright, Stuka, 
bomb the troops to whatever that is. We don't know what it is, and it's dead. Good stuff. Advance to 109 to protect it. And then the infantry can just advance along the road. The arty can as well. One tile at a time. Can we call in like reinforcements or something? Railroad stations, menu, army, reserves. Nope, we just need to do another end turn. Oh! Fighter planes are protecting the target. <laughs> Try to keep your fighter planes in the and critical facilities. I'll be honest, I should know that fighter, but I can't remember the name of it. He's doing a lot of. Oh my god, look at them all! Oh my god, they're really getting close. Okay, so the Stu Stuka needs to withdraw to the airfield. Like so. And then he should refuel, rearm, lend. He's gonna land. Okay. How do we know that he's in the airfield though? It's not what I wanted. How do we know he's landed? I guess the little symbol down here. Okay, it's fine. 109, can you take down three I-16s? That's what they were. I'm gonna say you can. Now, we're gonna go with the highest damage one. And when they attack me, I should counter attack and shoot them all down. This target is protected by enemy fire okay. okay. All right, we lost two points, but they lost... Uh, what was he on? Nine or ten? Nine. So he lost six. We should win that fight. Or... How far can we get our AA up? Bring up our AA. Bring back the 109. Hopefully that's deployed. Advance my scout car. Advance... No, 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 no. Advance my scout car. So we can get eyes on anybody. We can't. Bring up my infantry. Good stuff. Um, is that all? No, we can keep advancing. Let's keep advancing. Fighters. The unit has been withdrawn from the supply depot support zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. This unit will not last long on its own supplies. Okay, so we're out of the range of the supply depot. How do we get back within the range? I guess the arc and the supply will move up as we move up. At least I hope it will. I can't see a menu to look at supply. This, all this stuff you work at as you go. But we have eyes on that tank unit. The scout should be able to see it. Come on, you can't get any information on this thing? Advance with the infantry. Like, our supply region here is huge. Bring up my infantry. Bring up my command. And then Stuka. In order to rearm, the aircraft has to land at an airfield. Do you need to rearm? Okay, I guess the little red symbol means he needs ammo. What's this 25 out of 100 crap? Is that how much ammo we have left? I don't know, just stay there for a turn. Advance my panzers. This is kind of fun. Wish the camera would stop doing that. Oh, we have another Stuka. Let's move you away. Move this Stuka. Let's just check this. Yeah, no, you're 17 out of 100. So, I don't know. Anyway, Stuka, we can see now that they're just infantry. Demoralize and fleeing straight into a panzer. Or not. Straight into a unit of infantry. Dead. Okay. This 
has taken a long, much longer than I thought. Right, we're good there. Let's do an end turn. Hopefully this AA trick works. No, it didn't work. Maybe because they weren't deployed? That worked though, we knew we were gonna get most of these. IL-6s suck, 16s. That's a BT-5. How, that's no chance I'm gonna get to that city. Well, actually, if I had to push really hard with my tanks, maybe, but I wouldn't have had any infantry support. We would have gone full blitzkrieg. Anyway, let's capture the railway station, which will give us supply. Let's check and see if supply advanced up here. It, I don't know if it did or not. Anyway, we can retaliate on these fighters. Can't we? Or are you out of ammo? I think we're out of ammo. Shit. But my AA is now deployed. Good. Can you get him? Okay, you're gonna get one shot with the AA. You need to land and rearm. The JU87 that was there is only at three health, so it still needs time. That's Artie, the tank. Huge damage. And then what's our heart attack? Base value one heart attack. Should we be able to break that? Yeah. Not sure, quite sure how that works when it had a value of two, but we can live with that for now. Then let's push hard in the north. Move our artillery up with us. Get the scout car. Up. Oh, there's a, another infantry unit right there. Okay, let's advance. Leave my AA behind us for a minute. No, 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 no. Keep advancing. Okay, that's it for the end turn, is it? Oh, we should be able to capture, or really capture the railway station. So let's push hard for down here. Send my scout car just on a suicide mission. It's gonna get in and, oh wow, they've got that really well defended. That's an anti-tank gun. What's that? Pretty sure that's gonna one-shot me. I'm trying to get across this bridge without, we're gonna need Stukas. But the Stukas need to go back and go home. Your aircraft is running out of fuel. You need Go to home. An airfield for refueling. Send all my aircraft home. Okay, everyone's fueled. Maybe that little icon was the fuel. So all of my aircraft are now down. No air support. Let's bring our panzers up there. Looks like panzers can cross the river. Let's just go with that, and they can. Let's move up. Oh shit, wait, wait, stop. Ah, no, there's a buddy, some infantry unit back here. Okay, we'll just let the infantry deal with that and then the tanks can push for the capital. All right, should be good for another end turn. I'm kind of enjoying this. Well, we didn't save them. Pissed off Franco. IL-16 hit my troops, but it did no damage. Good stuff. Uh, bring up my AA gun. Okay, and then let's go for this town. Let's hit it with Artie. Beware of the artillery fire that your troops may receive. They got counter artillery. Shit. No, wait, that was meant to be artillery, not... Wow, we did nothing. Can we counter battery? One shot, beautiful. And then let's go with an encirclement. Okay. These guys are only five strength. 
we're not fortified. We can't, we're going to have to arty that. We'll get some air support. Of which... Is that air back up? It still says three here. So I'm guessing it's three strength. I don't know. What about my 109? Okay, the 109, it's fueled, it's got movement points. So let's get it up here and take out the IL-16. Awesome. And as for the crossing, we need, I mean, the Panzer's a cross. Let's just try it. What have we got to lose? It's just a tutorial. Enemy by enemy well, he didn't one-shot me. Jeez, that hurt. gonna hit this anti-tank gun with everything I've got. It'll do some damage but we should be able to break it. Okay that did one point and the armor can't attack over water which is awkward. Move our infantry forward, take out this target. This is another infantry unit. kill it. We've got one JU-87 good to go so let's get it up here and try and bomb that anti-tank gun before it does too much damage. Got a 109 for air support for it. Okay let's get bombs on that. Awesome smashed it. Okay 109's all right. Then, where's this, okay, got another uh, Stuka, let's go for the infantry, it's fueled ready to go, they can move 16 tiles a turn, they've got 40 fuel and it's used 15 in movement because it moved 15 tiles, this makes sense. Plenty of damage to those infantry. And then, don't know why this guy hasn't repaired. I don't know, uh, reinforce this unit, reinforce. Ah, oh, it costs, ah, oh, good. So is he reinforced? He is. All right, well that worked, but he has no movement points available, so I should have done that a while ago. But now we know, we're good for an end turn. And another BT-7. BT-5. Five or seven. No, really. That tank's dead. Oh no, it's not. Oh, he needs to withdraw. Okay, this is Stuka, let's go for the tank. BT-5. Thought so. Uh, bring my Panzer up. And then should be able to get that kill. Oh no, he's fleeing. Oh. Oh god, what's he doing? Huh. <laughs> what's happening? Oh. What is going on? Why are you attacking? You've already attacked that turn. Oh, okay. We That was a fun glitch. He got overrun. Because he got stuck in an airplane. <laughs> I like it. Alright. Bring up my command car. Oh, no. There's an anti-tank gun. I tried to click on the airplane, but I told, apparently I told it to attack an infantry unit. Stuka, you still got bombs and fuel. Yeah. Bomb the... Okay, there goes the anti-tank gun. Bring up the scout car. Let's just try 
It's an infantry unit. Should be able to do plenty of damage. This Panzer needs to go to the railway station, hopefully to rearm. We'll do something productive. Should be able to reinforce. So quad, we're going to use... It just costs... It doesn't tell me what it costs, but it costs that to reinforce, which is awesome. And then... Infantry assaults in the north. Wow, he still didn't get that town. That's disappointing. All my Stukas are done. All these vehicles are out of movement. I think. Oh no, the Panzers have an attack. Didn't break them. Move the scout car. Okay, that's good. Uh, in the north. Let's arty that infantry position. Good. Then this other Stuka is available now. Call him in. It's kind of fun. Okay, okay bombs. They're obviously fortified, but we should be able to break them if we throw enough infantry at this. Or we won't be able to break them. Okay, they're fleeing. You have captured an enemy supply depot. We took their now supply depot. To supply our troops. Gonna leave my Stuka there. I'm gonna use the 109 to try and attack the infantry. Does it get infantry killed? Demoralized dead. Beautiful. Then there's one more infantry position in the airfield and the railway station we should be able to overrun. Okay. This is doable. Oh no, the Artie's out of supply. How do we resupply you? Equipment, reinforcement. Hopefully they just get resupplied by connecting to supply lines. And we're right next to a supply depot, so they should get resupplied in theory. AA gun, we can just advance it. All right. Let's do an end turn. It takes a long time to do nothing. How is this to take troops within their operational range? In the what? event of an enemy attack on our troops, we will respond with the Cool. So the Arty protected us. Oh, wow. We smashed the, them. We can over. We should better just over. Well, we'll kill it with Artie. This is gonna overrun them, but they did. Good stuff. Capture the airfield. Our aircraft. Capture the railway station. We have captured the main transport junction. Okay. Then there's one more depot we need to get back here, but we need to try and just capture this town down here, I guess. How are we going? We've got one out of the five. Bases that we need to capture. Use the Stuka. Okay, that unit's dead. Withdraw the Stuka. Oh. The Stuka. Oh my god, they had so much infantry down here. Use the scout car. Try and kill infantry. They're demoralized and they fled. So we'll bring the Panzer up. Killed him. Good. They retaliated, but they didn't do too much damage. Got my other pans that's just been repaired. Bringing that up. Bring up the 109. 109. Let's get just get some guns kills on these infantry. We haven't killed it, but we don't need to. Scout car. Oh, it's flying. It's out of movement points. Infantry in the center. Are we able to capture that supply depot? We are. They f well, they're fleeing. Capture the supply. Sweet. And then one more depot. Oh wait, one or two more to go. Two more to go. Wow, this is going to go forever. Kind of need to start resupplying and stuff. And in the top right corner, we've got prestige points. That's one of them. 
and the other one is command points. Uh, we can use prestige points to call in more units. If that's a thing, I'm going to be very happy. I could just overrun these people. Yeah, we can just buy more units. Sweet. Why are we doing shop fitters? I just want to buy all core units. Buy. Buy. Uh, I think they cost 100 prestige points. And then where does it go? Does it come to a railway station? Reserve, yes. No. Buy a new unit, no. How do I deploy a unit? Oh, I don't know. It's wise, I click on it, it shows me off map. No idea. Okay, anyway, that's more than enough for now. I'm just gonna finish the tutorial and then we'll try a campaign mission. But it, so far it's kind of fun. Some funny glitches though, that's for sure, but it's kind of fun. Anyway, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next part, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs>